Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you are new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So a quick preview and prediction for Sergei Kovalev versus Bektomir Melakuziev. Now this fight goes down on the 30th of January and it goes down in Luzhniki, Moscow in Russia. This fight will be contested at £178. Now when this fight was first announced, I was extremely surprised, but pleasantly surprised. As we know, Sergei Kovalev is a multi-time light heavyweight champion, a former unified light heavyweight champion. In the past 10 years, Sergei Kovalev has been one of the standout light heavyweights in boxing, you know. He's extremely experienced and accomplished. Whereas Bektomir Melikusev, he was a great amateur, but at the end of the day, he's only 24 years old with six pro fights, and most of these pro fights were at 168 pounds. In fact, he is basically a 168 pound prospect moving up in weight to fight Sergei Kovalev, so a big step up for Bektomir Melikusev, but it really highlights his ambition in the sport of boxing. Ultimately, when you consider where both guys are at in their respective careers, I think it makes for a really interesting type of fight, a real crossroads fight. If Sergei Kovalev loses to a guy who's 6-0, that really is the final nail in the coffin. If Bektomir Melikusev loses, not as big of a deal, but obviously that would set him back. So it's a fun fight, and it's a fight with consequence, which I really enjoy. Now let's briefly run through the tale of the tape. We shall start with Sergei Kovalev. Sergei Kovalev has a record of 34 wins, 4 defeats, 1 draw. 29 of those 34 wins coming by way of knockout. Bektimir Melikusev has a record of 6 wins, 0 defeats, 0 draws. 5 of those 6 wins coming by way of knockout. Sergei Kovalev is listed as 6 foot with a 72 and a half inch reach, whereas Bektomir Melikusev is listed as 5 foot 9 and a half, with a 70 and a half inch reach. So Sergei Kovalev does have both a height and reach advantage. He's got a 2 inch reach advantage, and a 2 and a half inch height advantage. Given how both guys fight, potentially that could play a factor on fight night. Uh, Sergei Kovalev is an orthodox fighter, Bektomir Melikusev is a southpaw, Sergei Kovalev 37 years old, whereas Bektomir Melikusev is only 24 years old. So of course Kovalev is far more experienced in the pros, being in multiple world title fights, but you know Melikusev does have the youth advantage in this fight. In the past Kovalev's had some hard fights, he's been stopped a few times, and you know he's a guy who doesn't really live the life outside the ring, so will that mean Melikusev's youth advantage overcomes the experience gap here? It's an interesting dynamic, of course, but, you know, the tail of the tape really does make for interesting reading, and I think it really, you know, kind of highlights how interesting this fight is. But, um, let's break down the stylistic matchup, who should do what, and eventually who I believe is going to win this fight. Now, I think it's right that we start with Sergei Kovalev, you know, being the former champion, being involved in multiple world title fights, etc. He's already done some really good things in his career, but how should he approach this fight? Of course, looking at the height and reach advantage, Kovalev is is a fair bit longer and a fair bit taller, you know, and in my opinion, that's what he needs to build off in this fight. As we know, Sergei Kovalev has an exceptional jab, which he varies from body to head. It's, it's a great range finder. At times, it's a beautiful tool, which he sets up his right hand with, and at other times, it's a deadly weapon in which he beats down his opponents with, as we've seen in the past, for example, the Anthony Yard fight. And, you know, Kovalev needs to get back onto that very jab in this fight. Not the jab that he used against Canelo. The jab against Canelo was a jab with no commitment. It was basically a point scorer, a get-off-me jab. You know, the jab wasn't really intended to hurt, he wasn't getting his full force behind it, and he wasn't using that jab to really set up that right hand. You know, the jab in that fight was extremely disappointing, and you can't be doing that against Bektomir Melikusev, a guy who's got relatively quick feet, good head movement. If you're going to be using that one pace to get off me jab, that's going to give Melikusev time to get under the jab, get inside and work. 
and you know Melikuziev up close is deadly so Kovalev in this fight needs to use that jab to great effect he needs to use it to domesticate the pressure fighter in Bektami Melikuziev so so vary that jab from body to head you know really commit to the jab jab the chest use the jab to set up that right hand really give Melikuziev the younger man something to think about and ultimately try to discourage Melikuziev from trying to get close you know if you're if you're going to ping him with that jab every time Melikuziev inches forwards that's going to theoretically that could you know um it could make him doubt himself and make him reluctant to come forward so the jab is very important from Sergei Kovalev in this fight also bear in mind this is a massive step up from Melikuziev going up in weight to 178 pounds as we know Sergei Kovalev is a big puncher. He carries real power in that right hand. I think another thing for Kovalev in this fight, which would be worth his while, would be to catch Melikuziev early on to really get that young, ma young man's respect. Melikuziev probably right now sees an old man in Sergei Kovalev and basically he sees him as a stepping stone. Sergei Kovalev needs to make Bektimir Melikuziev realise that that is not the case. You know, catch Melikuziev with something big early on, a big right hand, make him realise that, yeah, I may be past my best, I may be a bit old, but I can still crack, and I'm still the best guy you've ever fought. He needs to make Melikuziev realise that this isn't going to be a stepping stone. You've got to really earn this. So I think Kovalev needs to start this fight with initiative, and he needs to throw the jab with conviction and fight with, with authority, and like I said, catch Melikuziev early on with something big and ultimately try to make the most of that experience. Kovalev's been 12 rounds, he's boxed against high-level guys for 12 rounds. You know, you need to be trying to do that in this fight. Melikuziev, so far in his pro career, you know, he's gone 10 rounds once against Vaughn Alexander. That was at £168. Vaughn Alexander is a tough guy, but he's nowhere near the level of a Sergei Kovalev. So, again, Kovalev needs to draw this fight out, get behind the jab, and maybe even try to take Melikuziev to the late rounds. We've got no idea how Melikuziev fights in a 12-round fight at a decent level. You know, he's done it against Vaughn Alexander. But again, Vaughn Alexander is basically a gatekeeper slash journeyman. So you can't really read too much into that. Ultimately, it's up to Kovalev to test Melikuziev. Test his chin. Test his desire. Test his gas tank. He's the experienced man here. He's been 12 rounds. He's won world titles. And he needs to draw on that experience against Melikuziev. There's a lot of question marks over Melikuziev. And Sergei Kovalev needs to ask some of those questions. And we'll see how Melikuziev reacts. Another thing is, I mentioned about Kovalev fighting with authority. I think when you look at Kovalev's last three fights against Canelo, Anthony Yard and Elidia Alvarez. Kovalev has kind of switched from his usual aggressive boxer puncher style to more of a pure boxer style. Don't get me wrong, in those three fights I mentioned, particularly the Yard and the Alvarez 2 fight, Kovalev still did uh, kind of use that boxer puncher style, but only in spurts. Um, primarily, he was being the out boxer, you know, trying to get behind the jab, not committing to too much. And yeah, he, he wasn't really boxer punchering all that much in those fights, certainly not in aggressive manner. And I think going into this fight, maybe he needs to rediscover that old form, that old style, you know, try and really put it on Melikuziev. Because if he kind of boxes Melikuziev, stands off him, maybe he's got the skills to outbox Melikuziev. But to me, potentially that could let Melikuziev into the fight where he gets close, where he works that body and really roughs up Kovalev. So I want to see Kovalev try and put it on Melikuziev. I really do. Try and go back to your old style and try and really test this kid. Um, but yeah, I think those are the keys for Sergei Kovalev. That's what I want to see from him. As for Bektimir Melikuziev, you know, Melikuziev is primarily an aggressive fighter. Uh, he does his best work up close on the inside or at mid-range. He can he he copes quite well on the outside, but that's not really his forte. Ultimately, the key for Melikuziev in this fight is to get past that jab. So the key for me for Melikuziev is uh, constant head movement and, you know, quick feet to get on the inside. I want to see Melikuziev faint, draw the lead of Kovalev, uh, and slip the jab, get on the inside and work. Melikuziev is a very good body puncher. Uh, he can throw every punch in the book at mid-range and up close. Hooks to the body, hooks to the head, 
uppercuts through, uh, through the middle, he puts his shots together very well, doesn't smother his work, and he places his shots really well. He's got great accuracy, and he throws those combinations with great hand speed. So I really want to see Melikuziev get to the inside as much as possible. I've never really believed Sergei Kovalev is a great inside fighter. He's got a pretty good clinch. You know, he could neutralize you like that, like he did in the first Andre Ward fight. But he's not great when he's firing back with you. He's not the most educated inside fighter. So obviously, as we know, the key for Melikuziev is to get to the inside. Any moments he's got on the inside, he needs to make those moments count. And in my opinion, he really needs to focus on that body. You know, there's a growing feeling in boxing that Sergei Kovalev doesn't like it to the body. And we've seen Kovalev struggle with bodywork in the past. So, again, you would like to see Melek Yuzyev ask those questions of Sergei Kovalev and really work that body. Obviously, you know, Melek Yuzyev is a southpaw. On the outside, Kovalev is longer, taller. And from what I've seen of both guys, he is certainly the better uh, long-range fighter. You know, on the outside, yeah, Melek Yuzyev might not be able to get that, mu that much work done. However, he still needs to be defensively responsible. Uh, you know, he needs to keep his front foot on the outside of Sergei Kovalev's. That will allow him the positional advantage. And that will help in regards to Melikuzyev defense against Sergei Kovalev's jab and his straight right hand. You know, if you're the southpaw and you've got the outside foot advantage, then you've basically got the ability uh, to defensively kind of move in all directions. Whereas the other boxer, the orthodox boxer in Sergei Kovalev's case, can only go to one side. If you put your lead foot on the outside, the other fighter will have to run in that other direction, which is towards your strong hand. So, posi uh, foot positioning for Melikuziev is, is exceptionally important in this fight. I think he's got the ability to take the lead foot advantage. He's got quick feet. He's got very educated footwork. And I think if he wins the lead foot battle, he can then build on that to create angles for himself, come in at angles, punch from the side, get up close and really give Sergei Kovalev problems. That's another thing with Melikuziev is that he doesn't come in with straight lines. He's not like some Bobby Basic pressure fighter. No, he'll punch around you, he'll step to your, uh, either side. Uh, he's got excellent, excellent head positioning on the inside. Melikuziev is not your standard pressure fighter like a Brandon Rios, for example. Uh, he comes in at angles. Uh, multiple com different combination punches, hand speed, foot speed. He comes in with head movement. He's a very educated uh, come forward fighter and he'll need to use every bit of that education in this fight. And yeah, ultimately again, Melikuziev needs to test Sergei Kovalev. He needs to test that old body. He needs to test Kovalev's desire at 37 years old. I personally believe Sergei Kovalev is on the way out. I believe he is just cashing out at this point. And when a fighter is at that stage of his career, he is there for the taking, as we know. So to me, Melikuziev really needs to pull it on Kovalev and ask those questions. If he does, I believe Kovalev will fold. We've seen him fold before now. I believe he'll do it again if Melikuziev asks the right questions. So, yeah, it's a very intriguing fight in my opinion. But ultimately, I'm sure you guys want to hear who I believe will win this fight. Now, it has to be said, despite Sergei Kovalev being 37 years old and past his best, this is still a very big step up for Bektomir Melikuziev. And if it were to go wrong, it's going to be one of those cases of hindsight where we say, well, that was bad matchmaking. So it's a risky fight. But ultimately, with what I've seen from Sergei Kovalev in recent fights, I truly believe the man is on his way out. I don't believe he's got that same passion for the sport anymore. I think that's quite telling in his performances and, and whatnot. So I believe Bektomir Melikuziev is going to he's going to come through in this fight and get the win, probably a late stoppage where he grinds Kovalev down. He might have a few scary moments here and there. I'm pretty sure Sergei Kovalev is going to win a fair few rounds in this fight, but I believe late on Melikuziev will uh, turn up the heat, uh, get to Kovalev's body, grind him down. And potentially stop him late on in this fight. I've got Melikuziev by a late stoppage. I think it's a relatively hard fight to pick. I know I know a lot of people are very high on Melikuziev, as I am. But like I said, it is a massive, massive step up. But you have to uh, you have to commend Melikuziev for taking this sort of fight at this stage of his career. It just highlights the level of ambition that this man has, and that's a good sign going forward. So yeah. 
It's an intriguing fight. Is it going to be a passing of the torch? Or will that torch be too hot to carry for the young Bektomir Melikuziev? This is an intriguing fight. Cannot wait for this one. January 30th in Russia. On the zone. Let's get it, man. This is a great fight. Share your thoughts below. Who are you picking to win this fight? Are you picking for the old man to upset the young upstart? Or do you believe the youngster Melikuziev is going to take Kovalev out? Share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Del Boy. Peace.